What's wrong with her now? Hey everybody, I'm Brandon72mo. Welcome to another GTA Online news video. If you didn't already know, the new Bravado Yoga Classic was released today. This van is incredibly slow, but who cares? It's super cool. You can check out my video showing all of the customization options by clicking on the card on your screen or the one at the end of this video. Rockstar is also celebrating Black Friday with some in-game discounts. You can get 25% off the Buckingham Super Valido and Super Valido Carbon Helicopters. In Los Santos Customs, you'll save 25% off all wheels, liveries, paints, and engine mods. At Ammunition, the 25% off continues for the Compact Rifle, Carbine Rifle, and Assault Rifle. And at the clothing stores, you'll save 25% off of all Bikers DLC clothing, excluding the Deadline outfits, of course. Today also brought us the new Kill Quota Adversary Mode. My hatred for the constant barrage of new adversary modes is legendary, but I have to say, this one isn't all that bad. It's definitely better with more people, but some of the maps can be played with as few as two people. In a nutshell, everybody starts out with the same weapon. You have to get a specified number of kills, and when you hit that number, everyone on your team switches to a different weapon. It continues on like that until you get your final kill with a melee weapon, or the timer runs out. And right now, through November 28th, Kill Quota is paying double RP and double money. You'll also get double RP and double money on every bullet counts, running backs, and inch by inch. Now, those last three might be just limited to Thanksgiving Day in the United States, which is November 24th. Rockstar wasn't too clear if it was all three or just inch by inch that were limited to Thanksgiving. Up next, I've been waiting for a GTA Online news video to include a mention that Rockstar updated the Newswire site itself. It's definitely different, with news items jumbled together with fan art, snapmatic photos, and a lot of other stuff. Honestly, I would prefer the news items to just be in their own column with all the extra stuff off to the side, but whatever. One cool new feature of the Newswire is that you can filter comments to see just those from your social club friends or crew members, plus there's a direct link to contact Rockstar. And they'll soon be adding Rockstar Classifieds, where you can find new crew members, people to help you test your creator jobs, and even people to help you with Snapmatic photos and Rockstar Editor videos. They didn't give a release date on the classifieds, but I'll let you know when they arrive. And finally, several people have asked why I didn't make a GTA Online news video to let everyone know that the Frankenstange, Lurcher, and Sanctus were no longer available for purchase. Well, when I made my original GTA Online news video about those, I mentioned that the first two were time limited and I gave their cutoff date. I also said that I wouldn't be surprised if the Sanctus was time limited as well. So there's just no need for me to make an entirely new video about it. Remember, I'm not one of those clickbait channels that covers the same topic over and over and over again just to generate a few extra bucks in ad revenue. Once I've covered a topic, I'm not going to go back to it again unless there's a major update about it. And that's going to do it for this GTA Online news video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the new yoga, kill quota, and in-game discounts. I'm Brandon72mo, and I'll see you in the next video.